Batteries are about to become a massive deal. Not many people truly understand just how huge the demand for batteries will get. Tesla's battery transformation is no longer a theory. Inside Gigafactory Texas, test benches are running day and night as Elon Musk's team pushes forward with the biggest energy experiment in Tesla's history. His latest statement marks the beginning of full-scale production for the Model 2's new aluminum ion and sodium ion battery packs. And this changes everything. Price, performance, and ownership costs. If Tesla's internal figures are correct, Americans might soon see an under $20,000 electric car with a 650-mile range and five-minute charging, powered by U.S.-made cells that charge within minutes and can last for decades. This is the 2026 reality taking shape right now inside Tesla's testing floors. We're going to look at the cost, the chemistry, and why traditional automakers can't copy this formula. If you want to stay updated with the 221555 early watchers who get every internal leak and production update first, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. The coming months will define Tesla's new battery era, and you'll want to see how fast it happens. Let's start with this question. How is Tesla breaking China's $150 billion battery monopoly using U.S. materials? Have you ever wondered what's been stopping Tesla from making a truly affordable EV? The average new EV price in the U.S. is now around $55,000, a tough sell for many buyers, especially retirees. So what's the issue? The battery pack alone accounts for about 40% of an EV's total cost. And even though companies like Ford and Tesla are building their own gigafactories, the raw materials and battery technology still come from China, mainly from the world's largest battery producer, KTL. China dominates the trillion-dollar global EV battery market, controlling mining, processing, assembly, and export. This lets Chinese automakers shock the market with ultra-cheap models, while U.S. manufacturers like Tesla must deal with higher costs. These include expensive raw materials, taxes, and transport fees that can add thousands of dollars. To escape this dependency, Elon Musk has decided to remove lithium, cobalt, and nickel from Tesla's EV plans. He's shifting to materials that are easier to find and cheaper to produce. But this isn't just about swapping ingredients. China currently controls 77% of the world's lithium refining capacity and about 60% of lithium ion cell production, according to the International Energy Agency's 2024 report. This monopoly creates three big problems for American automakers. Price swings, supply disruptions, and political leverage. Prices of lithium carbonate jumped from $15,000 per ton to $80,000 per ton between 2021 and 2023. Then came lockdowns in 2022. That disrupted supply. And finally, the geopolitical pressure that comes from relying on a single source. By switching to aluminum and sodium, Tesla avoids all three risks. The aluminum approach uses existing U.S. infrastructure that's been idle for decades. America's bauxite reserves in Arkansas, Texas, and Georgia have remained untapped since the 1980s when cheap foreign aluminum flooded the market. But with new national security policies and the CHIPS Act encouraging domestic production, these reserves have become strategic again. U.S. companies like Alcoa and Century Aluminum are already in talks with Tesla about long-term supply deals that could reopen closed mines. Aluminum makes up about 8% of Earth's mass and can be mined right here in the United States. With over 300 million tons of bauxite in Arkansas, Texas, and Georgia, Tesla could easily source a steady domestic supply at roughly $2,500 per ton. With its battery factories in Nevada and Texas, Tesla can handle everything from mining to manufacturing, a process known as vertical integration. This means no foreign mining fees, no $150 shipping charges per battery pack, and no import taxes. Tesla can now build an aluminum battery pack for about $2,800, and if recycling scales up, that could drop to $2,400 or even less. That's about $4,700 cheaper than a typical lithium battery. The Model 2's price could end up near $21,000. And with Tesla's usual end-of-quarter or New Year discounts, U.S. buyers might actually pay around $19,000 for a brand-new Tesla. Recycling makes this cost advantage even greater. Recycled aluminum uses only 5% of the energy needed to produce new aluminum. 
Tesla's Nevada plant already runs a closed-loop recycling system for the Model 3 and Model Y, recovering over 90% of aluminum with near-perfect purity. Extending this to aluminum battery electrodes would lower costs from $2,500 per ton to around $800 for recycled feedstock. Analysts predict that by 2028, Tesla could get up to half of its aluminum ion battery materials from recycled sources, a cost advantage that no lithium rival can match. Now let's talk about sodium ion batteries. Yes, sodium, basically salt, makes up about 2.3% of the Earth's crust and is roughly 1,000 times more common than lithium. A ton of sodium carbonate costs just $300, which is around 40 times cheaper than lithium. This means Tesla could make sodium-based batteries for about $25 per kilowatt hour. A quarter of the current lithium battery cost of $120 per kilowatt. That would bring the price of a Model 2 battery pack down to just $1,700, making it the most affordable EV battery ever built in the U.S. The sodium supply chain is also much simpler. Nevada's Black Rock Desert and Utah's Bonneville Salt Flats hold billions of tons of sodium-rich brine deposits. These can be extracted using simple solar evaporation, the same method used for table salt, with zero chemical processing needed. Companies like Compass Minerals and Occidental Petroleum already operate sodium extraction sites in these areas. Tesla's reported mineral rights in northwestern Nevada put its gigafactory just 50 miles from these deposits, creating a fully local system, extract, process, and build, all in one place. In comparison, even lithium mined in Nevada still gets sent to China for refining because the U.S. lacks enough refineries. That adds six to eight weeks of delay and thousands in extra costs. Sodium removes all that, allowing a finished battery cell to be made within a single U.S. facility. Between aluminum and sodium, aluminum has the advantage of existing infrastructure. While sodium offers long-term scalability, it's nearly unlimited, easier to mine, and less energy-intensive. Both, however, give Tesla the path to affordability and independence. While other automakers are still signing lithium contracts overseas, Tesla is working out how to slash battery pack costs by up to 70% with aluminum and sodium tech. Now, think about this. How many times have you ignored an EV just because it cost over $55,000? If Tesla can really deliver U.S.-made batteries with no lithium and no Chinese parts and sell the Model 2 for under $20,000, would you buy one? Drop a no more lithium in the comments if you're ready for Tesla's aluminum and sodium future. Now, how do these batteries fix range anxiety and safety issues? If you're worried about fire risks that have haunted lithium batteries for decades, aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries are the solution. Both are far safer. Aluminum ion batteries use ionic liquid electrolytes that are non-flammable and remain stable even when punctured or heated to 500 dollars. By contrast, lithium ion batteries use flammable liquids that can ignite at just 140 degrees and once one cell overheats, the entire pack can catch fire. That's why EV fires can take thousands of gallons of water to put out. NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab confirmed that aluminum ion chemistry is stable enough for spacecraft, well beyond automotive safety standards. Sodium ion batteries go even further. They use solid-state Prussian white cathodes that stay stable up to 1 hours 100 degree ions and don't release oxygen when overheated, eliminating self-combustion. In China's tests, sodium ion batteries pass the nail penetration test with no fire or explosion something lithium batteries have never managed. When it comes to performance, aluminum ion batteries currently reach about 300 watt hours per kilogram, allowing the Model 2 to travel around 650 miles on one charge, double the current Model 3 range. These batteries can fully charge in about 5 to 10 minutes and last up to 12,000 charge cycles with less than 3% capacity loss after 9,500 cycles. Sodium ion batteries, while not as powerful, still outperform lithium, offering 160, 190 watt hours per kilogram and a range of 300, 350 miles. They're ideal for drivers who prioritize reliability, affordability, and strong performance in all weather. They can charge efficiently even at 20 degrees C and lose less than 10% performance at 60 degrees C, making them great for both hot and cold regions. 
So, what type of driver are you? The long-range kind who needs aluminum power? Or the all-weather driver who values sodium's durability? Let us know below. Now, how did Tesla cut a five-year battery development timeline down to just months? In 2025, researchers believed it would take at least half a decade for aluminum and sodium batteries to move from labs to vehicles. Toyota and BMW aimed for 2026-2028, yet remain at the prototype stage. But Tesla has done it faster. From 2024 to 2025, the company spent over $7.5 billion per year on battery research, partnering with KTL, Panasonic, and Argonne National Laboratory to speed up material research and electrode design. Traditional automakers take two to three years to move from prototype to pilot line. Tesla does it in five to seven months. That's because Tesla's design and production teams use the same digital system. When a lab prototype is ready, it can immediately be replicated in gigafactory production without long approval delays. Tesla's annual battery R&D budget nearly doubles what other automakers spend. This direct design-to-production system removes the delay that slows down, uth.